Hey guys, I just wanted to make this video to set up the sniffer real quick. Uh, no, it's not Lance. I see a lot of people using Lance and I feel like they need to re revisit ComView. So I'm going to show you how to set up ComView. The link is going to be in the description. Also, you guys need to make sure that you have WinWar and WinPCAP. Um, those links are also going to be in the description. Um, WinPCAP is the network analyzing tool that helps you find these networks to basically monitor your internet traffic, whatever, whatever. It's a tool. So what you're gonna do is when you download that, you're gonna start it up, you're gonna go through the setup. I already have it set up, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna set it up again. I really don't care. I'm gonna help you guys out, try to walk you through it. So uh, you do what I do. Um, you can pick enterprise mode. Really doesn't matter what you pick. Like it just doesn't matter. Um, Cause you guys are gonna be pulling IPs from this video. That's what I'm teaching you. So that's all I'm teaching you. Um, actually I'm teaching a little bit more than that, but it's whatever. So when, once that's done, it's going to start it up. And then uh, you can go to, say, for example, if your Xbox is connected to the Wi-Fi, uh, you don't actually need an internet, Ethernet cable. You don't need the Ethernet cable for this. Um, you can go straight to Wi-Fi, and you can actually go down to Rules. And when you go down to Rules and go down to Ports, you can enable Port Rules and put in the Xbox port. So it automatically filters out all the other IPs. So you'd be able to pull IPs um, that or on your Xbox coming to the computer. The thing is my Xbox is not connected to this Wi-Fi right now. Oh, it's connected to a different Wi-Fi. But if you're connected to the Wi-Fi on your Xbox wirelessly, then IP should probably come up if you're in a party or whatever. And by the way, guys, I'm doing this strictly for educational purposes only. I'm not going to promote any illegal action throughout this. And I just need to clear that up because I know a lot of people whose videos get removed because they m make these videos for really weird reasons or to attack people but I'm just simply trying to teach you this okay so the second method of setting up ComView if that doesn't work for you what you can do is if you have an Ethernet cable plug an Ethernet cable in from your Xbox to your computer and then right click on your network setting or your little Wi-Fi icon at the bottom right and then you right click it and go down to open network and internet settings and if you're on Windows 10 this should come up and then you, what you want to find is you want to find change adapter options. You open that up, you minimize that now, and you right click on your Wi-Fi. You go down to properties, you go to sharing, and then you press allow network users to connect to this computer's internet connection. And then if, so once you have the ethernet cable plugged in, you're gonna click ethernet, and it will let your ethernet cable get internet access, but nothing else. So once that's done, you're going to go back to ComView. Uh, you might need to restart it, but since I'm not connected, I don't really care. Um, you go to Ethernet, and you start it up. And since the rules are still here, it's still going to filter out 3074. And whatever's it plugged into that Ethernet cable, whatever's going through that Ethernet cable, you're going to pick up on ComView. That's the second method. The third method is through a network bridge. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to close out of that. You have to right-click Wi-Fi go to properties and then you have to disable your sharing to make a network bridge so you do that press ok it might take a minute and then you bridge these connections together and after that's bridged um, you gotta wait for it if you look down at your Wi-Fi icon if it doesn't have a yellow indicator anymore then that means that your network bridge is up um, just be patient it could take anywhere from 20 to a 20 seconds to a minute um, but since I had, don't have anything connected I'm gonna go ahead and delete that so I can show you guys the free stressors that um, I'm gonna provide to you as well as something else that could be seen as a treat for you guys um, if you really want to learn about DDoSing and IP sniffing stuff like that okay so this is actually an um, IP locator this is my favorite one it's the best one I use it's called ipfingerprints.com if you want to look up IPs um, you can go here to do it it's really reliable you type it in and it comes up automatically it has all this information i just typed in a microsoft server because i don't want you guys to know my ip obviously i mean i doubt that you guys would try to do anything wrong but if you are i just don't want you to know my ip and then another website freeboot.pw um it's free it's really not that great i mean obviously anything that's free is not going to be all that great but it works and that's basically what it is it, it works so um it's kind of eh. Uh, it's not what I use because 
I mean, everything I do is for educational purposes, but I mean, I don't really use this stuff. But this is one that you could use. You sign in, easy sign in, easy set up, go for it. Another thing is you can try out um, IP stressor. IP stressor, you make an account, be ready to have your phone out and everything. So you can have the confirmation code and be ready to have an email that you can get into so you can get a confirmation code. I don't want you guys messing up on that. So that's that. And another thing is you guys actually want to learn about DDoSing and like what to do and the do's and don'ts. Um, my team has an online course that you can look at. Um, it, it's relatively easy. It, it's not going to take long. It doesn't take long. Um, I've seen it in preview mode. It tells a little bit about me, what I do, and just everything that's in here. Um, so if you guys want to look at it, I'm going to leave this link down in the description. It's really nice. I would appreciate it if you guys want to go check it out. You don't even have to buy it. There's a free trial, and it explains everything, what the course is about, what you're going to learn as a course outline and everything. Uh, you want to look at that, that's fine. If you don't, totally fine with it. Hopefully this video was good for you guys. Um, hopefully you guys use Common View a little bit more than you use uh, Lance or other things like that. Can enable doesn't work anymore. So yeah, um, check out my course if you want to. I'll teach you a couple things and email me if you have any questions or whatever. I'll put my Instagram in the bottom too if you want to follow me on Instagram. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you guys made it all the way through and hopefully you gained something from it.